church in Goshen that the reward for serving God is great. Amen. Somebody praise God. Amen. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I want to speak with you on this theme today. The reward is great. Hallelujah. Oh glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we know that reward it is something that is given in return for a service. Yes. Oh glory to God. Reward don't necessarily Oh, glory to God, comes down to money. Oh, glory to God, hallelujah. But up on, oh, hallelujah, your service, you receive a return for your service. And that return is called a reward. And I'm here to tell the church of God, just encourage yourself because the reward is great. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. When we're talking about great, we are saying this is oh, glory to God. It, 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 is, it is in abundant. Yes. Hallelujah. It is considerably above average. It's not the normal reward that you will get on a paycheck. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God. It's not the kind of reward that you will see on a weekend or on a fortnight or on a month. End. This is a reward that is above average. Because it don't matter how much money you get on weekend or on a fortnight or on a two weeks by your quinty gone. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. This is a reward that is infinite. Yes. Amen. There is no end to this reward. Oh. Your bills are not big enough. Come on, no. You're saying that your bills are so huge that the little peer where you get they just swallow the reward. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The reward is great. Yeah. It is considerably above average. Oh, yeah. It is not the normal thing. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The thing that I know about jobs, and all of us here who are working people, in our various field of employment, everyone would like an increase. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody praise God. I've never seen someone on the TV protesting that my salary is too high. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. And it don't matter how much money you are getting now. Hallelujah. You will take an increase. Even in COVID, in the pandemic, when the boss tell you nothing not going on because of the pandemic, if an increase is proposed to you, I don't think you will tell your boss, no. <laughs> boss, the time hard. I don't want the increase. Oh, glory to God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. A reward is so important for service. That's in Jamaica. When somebody feel that like they are not getting the right return. Or somebody think that the, the, the wages are too small. Oh, glory to God. You look on the television and the news. Sometimes person black road. Burn tire. And boss come to business place. Under lock and key. Chain up. <laughs> boss can't get inside. <laughs> oh, because somebody is making a statement. That what I am getting is not good enough. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God. Somebody is making a statement telling the boss that what you paying me is just enough for NWC. Yes. And JPS. Oh, somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. I need more. What you're giving me is not enough. And we make that statement by doing all kind of things. Oh, glory to God, but the reward is great. Oh, yeah. And the reward is sure. There's one lady in our community in Pepper. She became famous a few years ago on the, on the television. She was like on the television like every week. Advocating for the nation nurses. 
Because you say, what the nurses, what, what you are giving to the nurses, Mr. Prime Minister, is not enough. Yes, she became famous because she was there advocating for the nation nurses. She was saying that these people deserve more. Hallelujah. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Reward is so important that even in some companies and most personal in, in certain fields of work, they get what is called a union. Oh, somebody bless the name of Jesus. Because it is important for them to get something great. And sometimes the boss don't want to listen to them. So they get a middleman to bridge the gap. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God. And person go the extra mile. Person pay somebody <laughs> to talk to the boss and them to give them a reward. <laughs> a better reward. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God. <laughs> somebody bless the name of Jesus. A lot of jobs that we have. A lot of jobs. I know some, some of us will love our jobs. And the reason why we are doing them, the person would tell you it is because of love. And I would say that sometimes it is love for truth, but what level of love? Would you do that job for free since you love that job so much? The mere fact that we are doing certain jobs, oh glory to God, is the reward! Oh come on, somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody blessing him. It is not much, so much the love that we have for the job. In as much as we love our jobs. But we won't do it for free. Because the love that we have for our jobs. If the reward can't take care of the bills. If the reward can't take care of you. Your love will not keep you there. You are there most of the time. Because the reward. Is doing something. Oh, glory to God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. And sometime on the job that we are, that we love so much, we're still there looking out for something better. Oh, glory to God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Because your reward is important. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise him. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. When I was going to school, high school, there comes a time when we choose technical, technical subject. I used to be in welding and fabrication. One of my friends, he was there in plumbing. And I said to him that, man, why you choose plumbing? And he said that once I was at the home and a plumber came to do some work. And the amount of money that I saw mommy gave to the plumber. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God in the man. The man said, the amount of money that I saw mommy gave to the plumber. Yes. He not even know if it include material money. <laughs> but all he know that the money look enough. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God, the man. All he know that the reward looks great. Oh, glory to God. So he said that, you know what? I'm going to choose plumbing because I love the reward. I don't know why you choose Jesus. But I, I'm here to tell you that choosing Jesus, uh, the reward, uh, oh glory to God, uh, the reward is great. And those who are missing out on Jesus, uh, you are missing out uh, on a great reward. Amen. Amen. Neighbor of mine was on a construction site in Treasure Beach. And the man said while he was on the construction site, and the boss said that he have a pit to pack. And the man said, when he, when he hear the boss ask the price, he pack the pit. The man said, when the boss tell him the price, he just slip up his hand quick. <laughs> Never pack a pit before. Never did he saw one pack before. Wow. But when he hear the price, he said to the boss, sir, that different friend will pay. And the boss said, yes. And the man said, I will do it. And the man said, man, he get, he get a quarter cursing aisle in the day. And he get him back and he make a back to touch and hide it one side. Because he don't know how to start the pit. And he don't want nobody to see him when he pack it. So when everybody gone to bed, he went out there in the night. With this buckle torch and start pack the pit. And the, and the pit work him loving. 
Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God, the man. But when he heard the price, the man said, The reward! If I was from a strange land, oh, glory to God, from a different planet, never heard of Jesus Christ, never been in a church service, never met a pastor, but when I heard about the reward for serving God, how could I resist such a reward? The reward! The reward is great! Some people have some big jobs, you know. Mm. And you wonder, oh, 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 what caused you to do some stupidness on your job and make the boss fire you? Yeah. And the money sounds sweet. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise God. What caused you to backslide Come on now. when the reward is great? Oh. What caused you to be in church living? Oh, glory to God. All kind of life. What is the reward? Why you want to lie? Why you want to steal? Why you want to fornicate? Why you want to commit adultery? Oh, glory to God. What is the reward? Why you don't want to serve God? Why you don't to walk? Why you don't want to walk right? Why you don't want to be holy? Why you don't want to be soloed? Why you don't want to be committed? When is the reward? I've never packed a pit before. I've never saw one done before. But the reward is irresistible. The reward is great. Considerably above average. Somebody praise him. Somebody praise him. Oh, glory to God. I know. I know that we as Christians, we love God. That's why we come here for Sunday. Even in a pandemic, we still the church. Somebody praise God, no man. Even in a pandemic, we still have fasting. Even in pandemic. Oh, glory to God, we still have prayer meetings. Oh, oh, can somebody give God some praise? You know why we are here? Is that some, when you look, I know we love Jesus, but there's a motivating factor behind us serving God. Oh, glory to God. If you try to separate the reward from serving God, many persons would be here so committed. Oh, glory to God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. But when you look on the reward, it yeah. is a motivating factor. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Yeah. I do work, you know. I do construction work. And sometimes I tell them when they get some sweet jobs in her, sir. Not even lunchtime, you think. Yeah. Somebody praise God, the man. You get some jobs sometime, man. Not even a juice or drink for the day. The, the motivating factor behind you doing the work. Yeah. You don't feel hungry. You don't feel tired. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus, the man. Over 21 years now, I've been walking with Jesus. I never pause yet. Jesus. I don't take no break. Oh, glory to God. Somebody, because the reward. The reward is great. Lord have mercy. Let me just tap a little on the story that you have read with David. Oh, hallelujah. Here come David to a battle. In 1 Samuel 17. Yes. Matter of fact, number one, David shouldn't be there. When the brothers was going away, David was on the backside of the desert taking yeah. care of the sheep. Right. And his brother were, were, they were the soldiers. They were sent to the war. But there comes a time when David, dad, said to him, that, Hello, son, I want you to take some things for your brother and for the captains that are out there on the battle. Oh, glory to God. When David reached on the battlefield, and David sees soldiers out there running away from this Philistine. Oh, glory to God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Oh, somebody praise God. Soldiers who are to engage in fight, they are running away being coward when David arrived Bible said all the men of Israel when they 
they saw the man, the champion of the Philistine, they fled from him because they were so afraid. When David arrived, David's question was, what will be done to the man? <laughs> what will be done to the man that killed this Philistine? What will be done to this man that killed this Philistine? David spake to the men that stood by him in verse 26. Saying, what shall be done to the man? What shall be done to the man that killed this Philistine? Take away the reproach from Israel. Men them answer David and say, hear what man? <laughs> you will get the king's daughter. That are not, that are not lie to you. I have a brave friend here, you know. <laughs> I have a brave friend here in the name of Brother Nigel. <laughs> some places are going to rip. At some churches, you know. Man, afraid to talk to Pastor that, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no. When, when, when Michael and Mirab walk out, you know, soldiers don't call to them, you know. Yeah. Men are scared to talk to the king's daughter. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. Much less to consider. To hear that you will get her to in our hand in marriage. Yeah. Yeah. David said, what is the reward? Oh For killing this uncircumcised Philistine. The answer, the man said, if you kill him, you will get the king's daughter. Come on, yeah. The king will enrich you with great riches. Yeah. That, 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 that you win two times. No, A two times you win. You, know. yeah. you get the king's daughter. Yeah. Hey. When you get the king daughter, you, know, you feel that like you have accomplished all your life's dream. <laughs> because you get the king daughter. Yes. Hello, listen, in getting the king's daughter, the king will not allow his daughter to go and live no commoner's life. True. That means David have to come in at the palace. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, glory to God. Royalty! Yes. Oh, you protect the king's daughter from palace. I'll put her in some little shock or place. Yes. Oh, glory to God. You have to become palace boy now, you know. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. Big man in a palace. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right. Not just that you'll get the king's daughter. I will enrich you yeah. with great riches. Yeah, yes, and in those days, people don't like pay taxes. You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> Even though. <laughs> and the king said that. <laughs> Your father's house will be tax free. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. When David heard this reward, David said, then we're there. Nobody else ever hear this. <laughs> somebody bless the name of Jesus somebody praise God and, and let me tell you something man when you hear certain reward you know, even when you can't do some things even when the courage is not inside of you when you hear about the reward oh glory to God the reward should be enough uh, to motivate you hello now when you're going through this text we should not have the time to show you something. When you go in through the text and you see where the Bible said, they answered him after the farmer manner. What happened there is that David asked the same question again that he asked yes, before. Yes. Because when David asked the question, when he asked the question, and they answered him and said, that you will get the king daughter. You will enrich with great riches. Your father house will be free in Israel. No, when he asked the question again, you know the Bible now going to repeat certain things. So they said that they answered him after the farmer man. So up and going through this text, I realized that David asked the same question about three times. And the Bible said they answered him after the farmer man. Because David wanted to make sure. Oh, glory to God. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Somebody bless God. I'm here to tell you that the reward is great. When we go to work, you know, man. Oh, you know you got certain work. When you're going to get certain payment for the work. Mm -hmm. Nobody can talk you out of it. Hello. David brothers tried to talk him out of it. <laughs> Eliab said, what are you doing down here? Eh? I know your pride. I know the naughtiness of your heart. Why are you come down? <laughs> that could not stop David. Because the man knows every word is great. Oh, somebody praise God. When you depend on your work and things sweet, nobody can, nobody can put you up because bar. Oh, glory to God. 
Nobody can put you up for curse supervisors. Oh, come on, somebody praise God, the man. Because you know, at the end of the day, the reward is great. King Saul tried to stop him. I said, boy, what, what, what you doing? What you doing, boy? You are just a youth. Where you are now, that's where he started. <laughs> you are but a youth. <laughs> and this man is a man of war from his youth. So where you are, that's where he started. The man gone an advanced level. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody bless his name. Well, let me tell you something. The reward for serving God is the best reward. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Somebody, if David could be so excited for a reward, that when he get Michal after certain years, she's no more. She's gone. After certain years, riches have no use to him. And he was so excited about that reward. Oh, glory to God. When Jesus was preach, was talking to Nicodemus. Oh, glory to God. And Jesus said to Nicodemus, you think, just, you think, you think serving me is just stop here. Jesus told Nicodemus about the reward. In John chapter 3 and verse 16. And he said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That was the other. That is the reward. You know? Whosoever believeth in him. Oh, glory to God. Shall not perish. But you shall have an everlasting life. The reward is great. And if you never catch it over in a John. When Paul went to Rome. And Paul was in Rome. And Paul was down in Rome teaching. Oh, glory to God. And when Paul went into the church in Rome. And Paul was because you see that. With these preachers, you know, they always tell you about the reward. And Paul said, hear what, man? Oh, glory to God, for the wages of sin is a death. But the gift, the reward for serving God is everlasting life. The reward is great. Me finish, you know. But the reward... Hello, let me tell you something before we stop here. Quickly. L look how Jesus feel. There was this feel of the vineyard. They make an agreement that if you work with me, I'll give you a penny. Hallelujah. So one man there working from the first hour. But you know what he's going to get? One penny. Oh, glory to God. Another man come in the third hour. But you know the wages? The same penny. One man come in the sixth hour. Same penny. A man come in the ninth hour. Same penny. A man come. When one hour left. One hour left in the world done. And I see him penny. Some people now power faith for the foundation and they go. <laughs> and some just come. But I see him penny. The reward is great. Oh glory to God. Somebody praise God the man. Somebody praise God. So it don't matter how long you come a power faith. Oh glory to God. It don't matter who is the deacon. The reward. You are here for a long time. But me just uh, come. <laughs> but the reward is still the same. The reward. Amen. Let me tell you what we like about Jesus. You know, Hello. Sometimes the boss allow the supervisor to pay you. Sometimes the boss allow the accountant to pay you. Somebody praise God, no man. <laughs> Somebody praise God. Of our uncle, of our uncle that was working in the West a few years ago. And a man was, when the boss sent him pay, he never knows that every fortnight the man had taken $2,000 out of him pay and he not even know. <laughs> Cut him pay by $2,000 every fortnight. Oh, glory to God. But here, what is when Jesus appears, you him not allow pastor to do it. Come on, somebody praise God. Him not allow the ministers to do it. Him not allow the bishop to do it. Pastor wife now appear you. Musician peer now appear you. Oh glory to God. I hear Jesus said, Behold my reward. My reward is with me to pay every man according as 
his work shall be the reward is great Make your left church like I them appear you. I'm not going back down there. I'm not going back down there because of her. I'm not going back down there because of him. What if you were employed? Oh, glory to God in a big paying job, an earthly job, and somebody says something that you don't like. Will you still say, I'm not going back on the work? I am still coming to church because it's not you paying me. Oh, glory to God. Say what you want to say. But I know what Jesus said. Behold! 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 with me to pray if you live right you will get peace if you don't live right you get in peace if you like pasta you will get peace if you don't like pasta you still get in peace oh glory to God if you don't like the church sister you still get in peace oh hallelujah because it either one way or the other oh glory to god either eternal life or eternal death oh glory to god but one thing i know i know who carry the pay bill i know who pay the pay bill oh glory to god and the reward We finish, you know, yes. but not just the reward. <laughs> we get certain benefits too, you know. <laughs> I will supply. <laughs> I will supply. I'm not going to pay you, know, but him still say I'm going to supply. All your needs. According to my riches in glory. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. He said you shall still be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water. You shall bring forth your fruit in your season. Oh, he said that I am your shepherd. You shall not want. I will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. I will anoint your head with oil. Very well. Very well. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Let's stand up on our feet and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, let's shout glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, shout the glory to God as if you want to glorify the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus is wonderful. Amen. Hallelujah. Let the hands of all those who are expected to be rewarded. And I implore you, work. You, work. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But the scripture says, whatever we sow, we reap. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory. The Lord is good. Amen. Hallelujah. We glorify him. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your servant. Thank you, Lord. thank you, Father God, for the word that we have received today. We give you praise and we covenant with you, Lord, that we will not just be hearers of the word, but we will apply that which we have heard. We will act upon that word today hallelujah and tomorrow and on tuesday and on wednesday on thursday on friday on saturday and come back on sunday for another one to act upon 
in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Do we have anybody here that is not yet saved? You know they're a Christian. You want us to pray with you before we leave? Come on, raise your hand. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah. You heard the reward is great. Amen. The reward is great. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Well, we're going to receive the morning tithes and offerings. So, you have brought your tithes and your offering. Please package the same. Get ready. Ushers, please come to the front. And we are going to honor God. He has blessed us with strength. We did work. Or we got something from somewhere. And we are ready to celebrate Jesus with our tithes and our offering. Amen. Hallelujah. Hold your tithes and your offering in your hand. Hold your tithes and your offering in your hand. Come on, get them in your hand. Get them in your hand. Get them in your hand. Hallelujah. Your hand represents your strength. back a portion of that which you have blessed me with this represent my life it represent my work it represent my commitment to you Lord I give unto you freely I give unto you with a sense of joy I give unto you with a sense of expectation. Father, you said in your word, whatever I sow, 